Hello everyone, Wolfram25 here, back with another Warframe video, and today I'm going to be covering Saren and my builds for her. Uh, I say builds in quotation marks because I mean most people are going to want app, are going to want to run maximum range and maximum strength. Um, I don't claim this build to be the absolute best. I say that in all of my build videos. I don't think this possibly could be the absolute best build for her. Just experiment around with her. I use this build when I am in groups, when I'm trying to do ESO, or when I'm going on very, very long runs, because I actually didn't know that Saren had 300 base armor, which is actually a pretty decent amount. So I run Cursive Rejection, Power Drift, Prime Flow, which Prime Version is not really necessary, Blind Rage, Maxed Out, Fleeting Expertise, Transient Fortitude, Overextended, Vitality, Prime Continuity, the Prime Version is not really necessary. Uh, you can do it with the regular continuity version as well. And Stretch, because it gives you a lot of range and a lot of strength. And since this build isn't really focused on survivability, it may, it's mainly just meant to be for damage, you can use the uh, Vazarin class to heal your Warframe and use the Protective Dash, which will heal your Warframe when you dash through it. But if you are someone like me and you are on late, just about every single night. Here is my survivability build for her with Prime Flow, Hunter Adrenaline to gain more energy, Vitality, Transient Fortitude, Overextended, Intensify, Adaptation, Steel Fiber. That makes her very, very tanky. And with Hunter Adrenaline, you won't have to worry about energy. You can just get hit. You'll have some extra armor thanks to Steel Fiber. Along with Arcane Guardian, I highly, 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 highly recommend getting getting this arcane i think it's about 200 plat on the market for the rank 3 adaptation i highly highly recommend this i think you get it for about 30 plat unranked on the market uh you can also just do arbitrations if you want to get this mod everybody probably suggests this mod in all their sorts of uh build videos but this is my survivability build for her um i'm going to do a meso survival solo and see just how far i can get being solo um, for my primary. I'm going to be using the Phage as my primary and this is my build for it with Blast, Viral, and Corrosive and I have a Riven on it, of course. Again, this is a Gaze kit gun. I don't have a Riven on it but I'm going for Radiation and Corrosive because I'm going to be fighting Grenier. And this is my Plague Kiwar Zaw with the Plague Bokin um, attachment and of course, I run on it as well. Attack speed, melee damage, minus puncture. With the Exodia Force, I don't even know if they changed this or not. Now, normally I run Prime to Reach on this, but I want to see how Healing Return works out. I don't know how well it's going to work out, considering I'm not going to have that much armor. But that's why I said again, why I'm going to be running Adaptation with Argent Guardian. I'm going to see how Healing Return works. I used to run Live Strike, but they changed that. Channeling has been removed from the game. And I haven't used this yet, I haven't seen how efficient it is, so we're going to find out in this round. Again, I'm going to run the Vazarin Tenoclast to use the Protective Dash to heal my Warframe in case health on it gets too low. And my pet is going to be my Smedicavat with Link Health and Link Armor, Prime Pack Leader, Prime Mobile Instinct. Again, you really don't have to have the Prime variants, they just help out a lot though, but this is my build for my Cavette. So, and one last really quick thing before we go in, I cannot describe to you the usefulness of specters. Like they just they act as a bullet sponge. They're really good to throw out if you feel like you're getting hit and taken down too much. If you can't crowd control that well, you can have all the kinds of different specters from ones from Barrow, ones from each faction. Um, the ancient healer specter actually decreases damage taken by like 90 to 95 percent depending on the level i think i'm not entirely sure but i have four specters vapor specters i have the moa specter just that's what i rely on to reduce a lot of the damage when i'm running these solo is just throwing out specters and using them as bullet sponges and i'm actually going to be using my larkspur it is my kind of like my go-to arc wing gun number one i have a ribbon on it and number two it actually deals 100 percent status heat, radiation, and corrosive on top of the viral and the corrosive and the toxin that Saren can already do she, because she'll just be like absolute status monster but one last look at the build and then we're gonna head in this is Titan Saturn by the way what? wait what? Uh. 
Hey, gold drop. Okay, I think it's the nullifiers. something to use them on. I actually got considerably further than I thought I would. Alright guys, so yeah, this is the build that I used to get an hour and a half solo with Saren. Um, many of you may not run Eidolons, but if you do, definitely get Arcane Guardian. It's very, 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 very useful. Um, there's nothing really else left to explain. I mean, you can pretty much see how I play with the uh, footage. Um, the only thing else that I could mention is this, give me one second to get to it, is this, Magus Lockdown. Rank 3, Unvoid Dash, drop of mind that tethers up to 8 enemies in 12 meters, to 4 seconds it explodes, dealing 60% of their health as puncture damage. So it is a form of crowd control, and it's extremely, and I mean extremely useful. Like, it, your Tenno will pretty much become its own form of crowd control. So that's another reason I was able to stay alive for so long. But uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, please please leave them in the comment section below. I stream every single Sunday and Wednesday for Warframe. Sometimes I stream during other days as well. Um, I'm trying to make as many build videos as possible right now, so I just thought Saren would be a good idea because a lot of people like Saren, a lot of people play Saren. I'll leave a link to all my social media stuff in the description below. Again, I really hope you found this video useful, guys. And remember, guys, strive proudly and howl loudly. <laughs> Good night, everybody.